Google Business Profile Optimization Techniques, as well as local SEO tips and insights. With all the latest features, Google offers the small business community. In this video session, I'll share with you best practices so that your Google Business Profile and your business website achieves better results. You can manage your Google Business Profile through your Profile Manager. You can edit information here or you can actually do the same thing from Google Search as well. In fact, this is actually much better because you can see what Google recommends for your business here, okay? But surely you can update photos from the business manager as well. Now with photos, they are very, very important. And what I can share with you in terms of insights is the recommended sizes are important. And let's imagine you want to add photos, your logo, the cover image. Sure, you probably have that already, but Google encourages you to add additional photos. And when you do that, make sure that they are of high quality. It's recommended size, 720 pixels. Height and width is recommended. And you can take photos of the exterior while you're working, your staff, for example. All these will help your Google business profile. Also, there is question and answers. You can identify frequently asked questions and perhaps just create question answer it question answer it question as to what your ideal customers may be searching for for example do you offer free car park services or do you how long does it take to complete your service and so on i can't tell you exactly which ones to use because that will depend on the type of business that you operate also you should definitely consider using Google Search Console as well as Google Ads as well. In fact, in 2024, what you should focus on is connecting all your online footprint for your business. As in your website, if you're operating YouTube channel, then connect that because you can link all Google products including Google business profiles. You can link your business profile to Google Ads, Search Console to Google Ads, or if you're using analytics, then that's definitely something you should connect because you can then conduct remarketing campaigns because the searcher in 2024 is a different person compared to two, three years ago. As in, the way people search to find your business and to get your services, the way they interact online is different. So therefore, Google is making a lot of changes accordingly. All these new features are there to help your business to achieve better results. Now, if that's the case, then you want to provide as much detail as possible. Surely you can have more description information, perhaps using the latest AI technology that Google offers. You may explore that. Your phone number, for example, you can allow people to message you, interact with you. You can have chat option. See, you can add updates. You can add offers and that's something definitely any business website owner can utilize. Perhaps 10% discount as an offer. All these little things will help your overall 
business performance. Also, if you're offering bookings, then you have that option to include that. So you can add the services or even add products. Let's imagine you're a small business owner, but you're also offering products. Then simply explore the options available to you. Basically, in 2024, if you haven't revisited your Google business profile, then now is the perfect time. Also, here we have ask for reviews. You can copy the link and make that link shareable. There are many different ways you can share that link. Ideally, what you want is you want people to provide a review for your services. But here's the trick that not many people will be able to share with you. And that is this. Let's imagine my reply here. I can edit that reply. If you're a local business owner, what you want is you want to be a little bit creative here. All while adhering to Google Business Profile guidelines. When you reply to your reviews, surely you reply to your valued customer's review, whether it's five-star review, three-star review, or even one-star review. It doesn't matter. It's just the way the cookie crumbles on internet or in a business world. You can always get that one-star review to be reverted back if you approach the interaction differently. But let's imagine you want to rank for certain keywords, right? I'll show you this example because it'll make sense. Now I can say, you know what? Thank you very much for that great review because who doesn't like the five star review, right? But I could have done something different as in I could have optimized the review reply in such way that it's going to help my website to rank higher in Google search. Also, it's going to rank the business profile higher in Google Maps and you do it like so. Thank you kindly for a great review. Make it personal. Then let's imagine a particular service. Let's imagine web development service in Melbourne was the service that I've provided. Then thank you kindly, kindly for a great review. Personal as a name. I am certain that your new website development project will bring prosperity as an example. I would also appreciate you recommending rank your web development services to your friends in Melbourne. Okay. Now, what's going on here? When we reply, we're replying in a polite manner, courteous manner. We're making it personal, but we are also including our target keywords including location information within the review itself. Now, that's a trick not many so-called gurus will be able to share with you, okay? I'll actually leave this as such. So, reply to reviews, and when you do, use it, yeah, use natural language, but squeeze your target keywords within it without spamming the review, okay? Because that's definitely gonna boost everything else that you're doing for your business. Okay, high quality images, taking advantage of all the options available in 2024, whether it is custom offers, question and answers, performance in Google search console, advertise your business 
through Google Ads, it's still affordable. Yeah, having the correct information, if you're operating 24 hour business, then you can select that accordingly. Okay, so Renke is actually a service type business. That means I actually do not serve customers at my business address. So therefore I follow the guidelines accordingly. Also, now in 2024, well, this was available last year as well, you can post updates. What does that mean? That means updates related to your business or your industry. Now, if you're managing a local business website, then your blog posts are perfect to update through Google Business Profile. And when you do, make sure that you keep the description short. You know, surely you can you know, follow the guidelines and so on, add the call to action button and so on. Great. But you treat Google Business Profile according to the guidelines. Because I see it often as to small business community end up posting stuff in there and it just looks spammy. You don't want to do that. If it's appropriate, take advantage of these two. Because when you follow the guidelines, provide the update, that's going to help everything else that you're doing. Because your blog posts should be shared. Whether it's on Facebook business page, you operate, and so on. Also, do remember that in 2024, many things related to Google is changing. That means Google provides different user experiences when people search Google. You can definitely consider using structured data that Google recommends. And one of them is for, well, you can use many different ones, but you can also, let's take a look. We've got local features. Okay, with this local features, that's for the knowledge graph, which is obviously your Google business profile. And here Google gives you guidelines in terms of what you can do. So I won't go through each of these, but simply make sure that you have verified your Google business profile. You can add your logo information, optimize your website, you can use structured data as well, because then when someone searches Google, you should definitely brand protect using Google Ads. That's not going to cost a lot of money, even if you're on a tight budget, because there is a lot of competitors who do funny stuff. If you've built your brand, then you want to protect it. And Google Ads is still the best way to brand protect. When you optimize your website, the screen real estate in Google search will be more prominent. You can and should link social profiles because when someone searches your business, that's going to show up there too. Also, in 2024, Google is recommending to use directions. As we can see, you can add an update. Let's take a look, create an offer, add address autocomplete. You can optimize your web forms to autocomplete as well. Because when people use their mobile devices, particularly autocomplete streamlines the user experience. Then here it says, get more reviews. Great. But when you get more reviews, it's not just a matter of asking people to click the link. You've got to make that simple. Let's imagine you have a brick and mortar business. What if you have an iPad opened to let your customers do click and provide a review? after they've gotten a service from you. You see, 
it's not just matter of sharing links, but rather coming up with strategies that's going to work for your business. Also, latest Google changes suggest to you to create content that's helpful, reliable, and people first content. That means original content created for the best interest of the website visitor will help your local business to achieve better results. Before I close up, the latest changes Google Ads has made for local businesses is you can create com campaigns for this particular objective and perhaps select performance max and let Google take care of many things because most small business owners such as myself and yourself we always pressed for time and using performance max campaigns you can allow Google to show your site links contact information or even call also target your related audiences for most local businesses remember this Google experiences is changing that means even if you're a local business it is a proven fact that people in their search cycle they go search Google for a service or a product but they sometimes go to YouTube as well to find that product or perhaps a research of it or perhaps comparison of it and creating YouTube videos is just a matter of using your smartphone if you want meaning if you're a local business owner to definitely consider marketing on YouTube as well to target people who are in a research or comparison mode I have bombarded a lot on you, but when you step back and consider these latest changes Google is making, focusing on quality, taking advantage of all the features, including structured data, optimizing your website, creating content on a regular basis, taking advantage of Google Ads for brand protect, or perhaps reach customers differently if you can create videos on your youtube channel and then connect everything together then your local business will show up in google search prominently it will show higher in google map searches as well furthermore your website will actually enjoy higher google rankings because google algorithms connect everything together and then display results accordingly 